Hi everyone, today we are sharing how to make these DIY decorative Halloween mason jars. The supplies you will need for this project are three mason jars, orange, white, and black ribbon, red, orange, white, and black paint, A small paintbrush for detail and a larger paintbrush for painting the mason jars. Now the first thing we're going to do is we'll have to paint the mason jars. This might take a few coats to make sure the colors stand out. One of the mason jars is going to be orange. I'm going to paint that completely orange. The other one is going to be white. This one's going to be our ghost. You can also tilt it upside down like that to make sure you can get the whole jar. And the last one is going to be black for our vampire. Next we'll be painting faces on the jars. To paint the pumpkin face you will need the black paint and the small paintbrush as this will be need the small detail. I went for the traditional triangle eyes and jagged mouth, but feel free to use any style for your pumpkin face. Warning, you will have to get in between the dents of the mason jar. This is where the writing is on the jar, so just make sure you're careful here. I then grabbed the orange paint and went back in to touch up around the eyes and around the mouth. Just make sure everything looked the way I wanted it to look. The next jar is the ghost. This one will be a little easier to paint. You just need to paint two round eyes and a mouth. Again, you can paint this any way you'd like.
Last, you'll be painting the vampire face. For this jar, I used red paint to make half circle eyes at an angle. You might also need to do a few coats of this as it didn't come out very well the first time. So just wait for the paint to dry and then add another coat. Now for the mouth, I used white paint to draw the mouth. This video cut out here, but you will want to draw a mouth line. Try to make it as even as possible. And then you're going to want to add the fangs. I had trouble making these even, so I had to go over them a few times. You can also use the black paint to go back in and fix them once they're dry. Now we're going to add the ribbon to each jar. Wrap the ribbon twice around each jar and then tie with a bow in the front. I used orange on the pumpkin jar, uh, but feel free to go use green to represent the stem. I did the same thing with the ghost jar using black ribbon. And then finally with the vampire jar, I used white ribbon, but also feel free to use any other color or maybe red to match the eyes. And voila, you're done. We hope you enjoyed this craft. If you did, please like this post and subscribe to College Express. If you recreate this craft, share it to us on social at College Express. And happy Halloween!